Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction. In this video we're gonna look at reducers and how we can create them using the Redux Toolkit. But first, we're gonna remove our dummy reducer. We don't need it anymore because we're gonna have normal reducers now. Also we're gonna remove it from the store. Great. Now, let's create a new folder for our reducers and a new file for the book reducer we're gonna create. Okay, to create a reducer using Redux Toolkit, we're gonna import create reducer. Then we're gonna create a const called book reducer, which is gonna use create reducer and it has two parameters. The first one will be the initial state. So we have to create that. Const initial state. It's going to be an object with a key for books, which for the moment will be an empty array. The second one is an, a callback function, which gives us a builder. And using this builder, we will be able to add cases to our reducer, similar to how we would have cases in a switch case statement. So we're going to call builder.addCase and here we need to give it an action type or an action that will be dispatched. So this reducer will handle the add book action. And the second parameter is a callback function that receives the state and the action that was dispatched. And we can do anything in here. But first, before we forget, I'm going to import addBook from the actions. Now, we have to write our reducer for adding the book to our book array. What we have to remember here is that we can actually mutate the state right now. So instead of uh, returning a new state, we can just do it like this state.books.push. So we're going to push a new, a new item to the array and we're going to expect to receive the new book in the action.payload. And this is it. We don't have to do anything else. And now we have our reducer. And we can create another reducer by chaining the add case method to, to the same builder. So we're going to use a delete book. I'm going to create this action a little uh, after this. It's going to have the state and the action. And here we're just going to return a new array. So we have the state.books. So our book array is going to be the old state.box and we're going to filter it. Book. We're going to get the book and we're going to return every item except the one that will be in our action.payload.id. So we'll, we'll expect in the payload an ID key. That's how easy it is. If you don't want to chain add cases to your builder, you can actually you can just do builder.add case for everyone. But I, li I like this, it looks a little bit cleaner. And if you use prettier to uh, format your code, it looks really nice and uh, pleasing to the eyes. At the end, we're gonna export default our book reducer. Now we need to create this action for delete book. So let's go back to the book actions and create the delete book action, the same as the add book. Great. And now we're going to import in the books reducer, delete book. Great. So we have both actions. Now let's add our reducer to the store. So we're going to import book reducer from the reducers and the book reducer and we're gonna add it with the books key great 
now if we go back to our app we see we have an error here oh no it's gone if we refresh it and if we go back to our redux dev tools to the state we see we have our book key with the book array so our reducer has been registered successfully in the next video we, we will hook our uh, store to the ui and we will dispatch the actions to add and delete uh, books from our list thank you everyone for joining and have a great day